Happy Friday. I hope everybody had an awesome Friday. And I apologize for my horrible looking hair right here. But you know what? We're about to die it. <laughs> I'm too excited. Okay, so in my last five, five below haul video, was it the last one? I don't know. One of those five below haul videos, I talked about how I got this hair color. And this is the first time I'm really going to be dyeing my hair. So this is extremely temporary. I'm not literally going to dye it, like bleach it and do all that fun stuff. I'm, this is just a little color that you put in it and washes out with shampoo. So that if I hate it, I can go rinse it out. <laughs> so it's called Splat, easy to apply, bright hair color, washables, washes out with shampoo. And I got the pink one just because I think the other one was green. And I don't know, I think, I think I'm going to do the pink, not the green. So... I'm not going to go over ingredients like what I did last time. But basically, it says, Splat washables, 5 books at 5 below, are a fun way to add some color to your hair. It's easy to apply and wash it out with shampoo. Adding color to your hair has never been easier, blah, blah. Okay, so, what you do is you apply splat washables to dry hair. That's why I was a little bit confused on, like, do I apply it to wet hair, dry hair? You apply it to dry hair. So I can do it now, but I need to go wash. But, dry hair. Always use hairspray before and after applying product to prevent product from rub off when streaking hair. By the way, I'm not, I wasn't really sure how I was going to dye it when I, my dad told me not to dye it too much. <laughs> so what I'm thinking about doing is maybe dyeing the front part. Like, I was going to style my hair a certain way, but I was, gonna, I was thinking about maybe having the front part be pink or something and then having the rest of it be normal. I don't know. I'll, I'll see how it comes out. But... When stripping hair, squeeze a small amount of color onto the applicator brush, which is in here. This is right here. Comb through hair from roots to ends. Keep color one third inch from scalp. Alright, got that. And it talks about if you apply it to spiked hair. My hair not spiked. Alright, so this is how much you get. You get this much. And this will last me, because like I said, I'm not going to be adding too much color to it. But I just noticed something. There is pink color on the outside of this container for some reason. So does that mean somebody used it and it didn't work and they're bringing it back? I don't know, because this it looks like somebody used this already. Hold on. Let me make sure. Let me just check something really quick. I don't know why I'm sniffing it. it smells like paint. Let me not get high off the hair down here. I was just trying to make sure that it was like a full container in here, which it is. It's just for some reason the outside looks trifling. You know how I feel about trifling outward appearances. But alright, I'm going to go wash my hair with all my little stuff back there. I'm not going to bring y'all with me because it isn't going to be that sort of hair video. I'm just going over how to do the dye. I'm going to go wash and blow dry and do all that fun stuff. It'll probably take me a few hours. What does this say? Flat washables updated instructions. Place an old towel over shoulders when applying the color. Make sure the hair is clean and dry. Okay, that's the same. That's the same. Do not apply hairspray before application. Always use hairspray before and then do not. I guess I'm going by the updated. Brush, squeeze color, take a good, got that. Take a look at that. Okay, got that. Yeah, there. So basically it says dry hair, add the color. No hairspray, blow dry it through. Okay. Uh, I'll just keep, I'll just hang on to those. And let's see how my hair turns out. Y'all know the pumpkin spice mocha from Starbucks. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It is so disappointing. Mmm. It's way more coffee flavor than pumpkin flavor. I'm just saying. She sprinkled a little bit of pumpkin flavor on the whipped cream, but that's pretty much it. I expected a lot more pumpkin flavor than this, but oh well. But anyway, I need to go wash my hair now. I just need to tell y'all that. Hi again. Okay, so while I'm deep conditioning, I guess I can show you guys what I use to wash and condition my hair. Um, I'm doing something a little different when I dye. I use the Beautiful Textures Naturally Straight Anti-Reversion Shampoo with the uh, conditioner, the anti-reversion, and basically what this does, and I'm not sure if I've explained it. Did I explain this in another video? Can't remember, but basically 
it makes your hair a little bit more manageable how do i say this it it straightens it so that when you okay so you use it on your hair and then you go and you blow dry it and when you flat iron it it protects it against the humidity so your style will last longer so i guess it's like it's not a perm it's not a relaxer because it just does something to your hair texture to make it straighter and just a little bit more just a little bit easier to deal with while you're trying to have a straighter style but once you the next time you wash your hair with any other regular shampoo your hair texture will come back trust me i've used this about five six times now it straightens it while you have it in your hair and then when you want your old texture back and everything your curl pattern just wash it with your regular shampoo and it'll come back so it won't stick okay like it's not going to just ruin your texture so i use the conditioner with the conditioner you're not supposed to use anything with it i think but i, I cheated because like i love my oils so i just use what I have on right now is leave-in the uh, conditioner and this castor oil. That's just what I'm conditioning with. And I'm going to go blow dry it. Add the color in. Blow dry it. Blow dry the front part for a second time. And then to actually style it because I'm not just going to be wearing one big blowout. Unless my blowout looks really good. No, I'm not going to wear a blowout. I'm going to twist it up with this beautiful textures curl control defining pudding. And then my hair will have like a It'll be larger because it'll be more stretched, but it'll have like a looser curl, so the front part will be pink and curly. I think it's going to look cute. Y'all are going to have to see it. But uh, this has to stay in for like 10 minutes, so I'm just going to go do what I have to do. Maybe start some math problems or something because I was so confused last night. I don't know. Alright, but anyways, see you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys, this is about an hour later. I don't know. I took a minute to like apply for some scholarships and I was just so sidetracked everywhere but I finally blow dried my entire head my hair feels drier than Morgan's elbows oh, I'm just playing <laughs> I'm just playing Morgan's skin is very moisturized but anyways this is my hair all blow dried so next step next step what am I gonna oh, nope I don't want the blow dry falling over okay it is hair all over this bathroom oh my goodness but Let's know the time. Make sure it's clean and dry. Do not apply hair spray. Blah blah. Okay, so squeeze the color directly on the applicator brush or into my hand. Dip the applicator brush in the color. Oh, okay, I get it. Take the selected strands of your hair. You want the color and brush the color down. Direct the application. Squeeze the different of color through onto the palm and run through the hair. The color will be slightly wet. Okay, so. Like I said, I'm gonna try and dye maybe the front part. So I'm gonna put the color on the applicator brush. Or do I wanna put it on my hair and brush it with the brush? I'll figure out some way to do it. And then like I'm gonna blow dry it on medium heat, just blow dry it through. And then my hair should be pink. So let's do this. I have never dyed my hair before. Hopefully this looks decent. If not, then like I said, I can go shampoo it out. But do I really wanna shampoo my hair that's all blow dry? Maybe I'll just have ugly looking pink hair for just a week. I don't know. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. All right. Yeah. All right, I'm so nervous. All right. I'm so nervous. Hopefully I don't, hopefully my hair don't fall out. But y'all still watch my videos if I'm bald. <laughs> oh, okay, so let's see. I'm just gonna part it. Part it with my fingers. Alright, um, is that a good amount? It's not straight now. Mm -mm, these straight parts, I can't do that. Is this good? Yeah, that's good right here. Alright, so this is the part of my hair that I'm dying. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Alright, do it, Alexis. Do it. Alright, so I'm gonna put it on the brush. How it looks. I'm gonna brush it through my hair, starting at the roots. That's kind of pulling at it. I'm just gonna comb it through. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more because it's like, oh, hold on, let me try. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more to the ends. I'm just putting. Oh, my hands are pink. I'm just putting it on my hands. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm just gonna add, hopefully I'm not adding too much dye. I'm gonna add a little more in the middle and then I'm done. Get my hair to pink enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, I put it in. How does it look so far? Is it dyed on the other side? Yeah, okay. All right, this is how it looks. So next I'm supposed to blow dry it through. All right, medium, blow dry it. Okay, so that's how it looks. I like it. I should twist up my hair so it can have a nice curl, not just a huge big blowout. But that's all I'm gonna do for now because you guys don't need to sit there and watch me while I twist up my hair. <laughs> so, ooh, look how pink my hands are. All right, so let's end this out. Okay, so I like it. I like it. This is gonna be a cute little curly bang. It's gonna be pink and then the rest of my hair is gonna be done. This isn't done. Look how pink my hands are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but anyways, that's it. Y'all need to go twist up my hair now. But okay. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video up. I'll talk to y'all. Okay, y'all. That's it for now. Now, this video is not over. I'm going to give y'all an update tomorrow on how the finished look is going to look. Because this is not done. Okay? Don't think that I'm done. <laughs> So I like how it's not too bold pink, it's just like a little color in my veins, which is nice. I like it, it's cute. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow though. Hello, happy Saturday. I hope everybody had an awesome Saturday. And do you guys know that there is hair dye all over this camera? Wow, so now my camera looks black and pink. But anyways, I took out my twist in the back, so let me make sure I don't have a straight twist. And I pushed most of my hair back in this fro, except for the dyed bangs which are all over the place right now but what I'm concerned about is that um I don't think I added enough dye in because my hair is dark brown so I think I if I'm trying to dye it pink I think I should have put like a lot of dye in more than what I put but we'll just see because I didn't want my ends like you know too pink and then what was the other thing I don't think I added enough dye oh yeah because you know with these uh other hair people who dye their hair like they say if your hair is dark then you should like bleach it or something like that first and it's like no so i'm about to take out my bangs and style it a little bit and we're gonna see how this comes out as you can see one of my twists is kind of falling over here and they're all supposed to be over here it's like my bed head is horrific oh uh, well let me go take them out see how this turned out hopefully decent okay so this is how it came out i'm trying to lay it down and I just realized I sort of made a mistake usually when I want like bangs sort of I'll flat twist it and that way it's twisted at the root and it'll lay down better I didn't do that so it's not really doing what I want it to but luckily we're not really going any place today so I could just flat twist it and wear it like that for a few hours or something like that but that's how it came out I guess it looks good I like it I like it just I should have flat twisted it instead of just regular twisted it but I'm really pleased. It came from Five Below. It's called Washables or something like that. So this week when I wash my hair, I should wash on out. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of this video. I just heard the dishwasher go off. That sounded horrible. It's like the dishwasher is about to break. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thumbs the video up. And I'll talk to y'all another day. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about my special announcement. How can I forget about the special announcement? Okay, so. Let me go get my phone for this. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that I'm doing this. I swore to myself I would never do this, but I'm doing it. Okay, so. I downloaded an app. An app that I hate. I've always hated this app. Ever since it first came out and it was like a huge big hype over it and I got it, I hated it, so I deleted it. And then I got it again and I hated it, so I deleted it. But I'm getting it for a third time because you know three times the charm, right? Or whatever the saying is. I got an Ask FM, okay? And if you don't know what Ask FM is, it basically looks like this and it is a stupid app where people can ask you questions. 
And the reason why I don't like it is because both times that I used to have this app, somebody would ask me an inappropriate question or it would be unnecessary. It's something that I was, something that they were asking me that they knew was going to get me mad. But they ask, they were asking it, asking it anonymously. And it's like, it made me mad because it's like, oh, okay, you can ask me that sort of question, you know, anonymously, but you can't just ask me like you scared or something. It's like you trying to start stuff, but oh my goodness, I got an Ask FM, so we'll be. I'm not really sure how this works because I completely forgot, but I'm not sure if I can somehow link it below. And I'm going to allow. Oh my goodness, I really don't want to do this. I'm going to allow people to ask me questions. I just logged in with my Facebook and I have four notifications. Uh, I just logged in with my Facebook. And I remember there are still so many... All of these questions that somebody asked me that I didn't like are still freaking here. Oh, it's like it's like the ask if I never left. What in the world? Just Whew, Lordy. Oh my goodness. They're all still here. My beautiful ask FM. Okay. So I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have it for a week and then I'm gonna delete it again. So I'm gonna link it down below or put my name down below and y'all can go in there and ask me questions if you want to. Just please make them appropriate. Because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an Ask FM video next week. Possibly, am I going to have time to do it next week? Possibly not Saturday of next week. I'll probably do it Friday of next week, Friday evening. I'll do an Ask FM video and post it. Because I'm going to show you all the questions that people ask me. All these inappropriate questions are still here. I'm going to show you all why I, hate, why I hate this app. Like, wow. Should I, well this was... Somebody asked me this two years ago. I'm not even going to answer that. But all of them are still here. I'm going to show y'all why I hate this ad. But I'm going to play with, play with it a little bit. Kind of spruce it up. And I'm going to keep it. But I'm going to show y'all why I hate this ad. Like, y'all should see these questions right here. But anyways, now that's the end of the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. If y'all subscribe here, make sure you do that. Thumbs this video up. Just like what I said before. Ask me some appropriate questions. Because I trust y'all not to ask me nothing stupid. <laughs> And I'll see you guys another day. Bye-bye. My old bio is still here. Class of 2014. Taken by my current guardian angel. I called my ex-boyfriend my guardian angel. Oh, oh, I hate this app. Oh my gosh, idiot Alexis, idiot, 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 idiot.